lesson is a lesson about dilations. What we talk about or what we mean when we talk about dilations in math class, um, we're talking about taking figures or shapes and either enlarging them or reducing them down um, using what's called a scale factor. So in other words, if I were to take a, a triangle and I were to make it three times larger than the original triangle, the scale factor would be three. Okay, so we're talking about either enlarging shapes by a scale factor or we can even reduce these figures down by a certain scale factor. So, so maybe I draw a, a rectangle and my scale factor is something like one-fourth. And then I, I, I adjust all of my vertices, my ordered pairs, and I redraw my new image. What you're going to see is that then if the scale factor has, has been one-fourth, it means your new image is one-fourth of the size of the original image. So what I'm saying here is that dilations are when when figures either enlarge by a certain amount, they, they get bigger, or they can reduce by a certain amount and get smaller. And it's all done proportionally, all right? So a um, couple notes here in blue that I hope you're writing down, which says, um, in a dilation, we talk about the scale factor as being K. So where I've circled K there in green, right here, this is the value that's going to tell you if the figure, the original figure is going to be getting larger or if the original figure is going to be getting smaller. And then you're going to use that value of K, whatever it is, to adjust all of your ordered pairs, either larger or smaller, and that will give you your, your primes, right, your new ordered pairs, and then you'll plot those points and those will, that, those will then become the vertices of your new image. It sounds really confusing, but I promise it isn't. So, talking about K, which is your scale factor, it says right here, this is where I'm looking, that the dilation is an enlargement if K is greater than 1. Okay, so if you're given a problem and they tell you that K is 3, that means every value on the ordered pairs for every point or every vertex on your original figure is going to be multiplied by three or get three times larger. And then when you replot those ordered pairs, you're going to see that your new image is, in fact, an enlargement of the original figure. In fact, it's three times larger. However, if you look at your uh, scale factor, if you look at your K value, and you notice that it is less than one, so now I'm here, that would indicate a reduction of the original figure. So let's say you look at your K, your scale factor, and it says K is half. That means every ordered pair is going to be multiplied by half, or, or you take half of it, and that gives you your new ordered pairs or your, your primes, right? And then you draw your new image, and you're going to see that that is a reduced size in comparison to the original figure. So it's going to be, in this case, it would be half as big. Okay? Now, how do we go about doing this mathematically? Well, it's all about multiplying. To find the new coordinates for your new vertex, um, you take your x value in the ordered pair and times it by k. So we, we go there, we multiply by k. And you take your y value in your original vertex, in your original ordered pair, Multiply it also by the y value, or the, or the k value, sorry, the scale factor. And that will tell you your new ordered pair for your new vertex or your prime. And then I type down there in green, just multiply the k, whether it's above 1 or below 1, by the x and by the y values. And that will give you your, your, um, your new coordinates for your primes. Okay, let's look at one. It says find the vertices of the image after a dilation with the given scale factor k and then graph the image. Okay, well, I graphed the original image here for you so that you're going to be able to compare original image to our dilated figure. So, let's take a look. These are the original ordered pairs for the original vertices a, b, c, d. Okay, now it says scale factor of half. What does that mean? 
the scale factor is half. All right, that's less than one. That means our new shape is going to be a reduction. Our new shape is going to be smaller because the K factor is less than one. Now, mathematically, here's what you do. You take each one of these ordered pairs, each one of these X and Y values, here and here and here and here and those guys, and don't forget about those guys, and you multiply them all by half. So, and that will give you your primes. So A prime, if I take two times one half, that gives me a one, that's for both of those. B prime is gonna be zero two, because zero times half is still zero, and four times half is two. C prime is gonna be two four, right, I'm just taking half of it, and D prime would be five three. Now, I'm going to plot these points for A prime over 1 up 1. There's A prime. For B prime over 0 up 2, here's B prime. C prime over 2 up 4. Oh, looks like they're going to overlap. That's okay. And D prime is right 5 up 3. So as you see, we do, in fact, have a much smaller version, a reduced version of the original figure, right? Because the, the scale factor, which is K, is less than 1. It was half. So it's half of the original figure. Here's another one. Find the vertices of the figure after you dilate it with the given scale factor K and then graph the image. So on this one, I'm not graphing the original. Not gonna, we're not going to put that up there for comparison's sake. So let's just do the math and plot the new image. What's our scale factor? Three. What does that mean? It means it's going to be an enlargement. This one is going to be larger than the original one. So if you wanted to draw the original one, you could. However, I'm not going to. I'm going to take each x and y value in these ordered pairs, multiply them each by three, and I'm going to plot those points. X prime, 1 times 3 is 3, 0 times 3 is still 0. Y prime, 0 times 3 is 0, 2 times 3 is 6. Z prime, 2 times 3 is 6, 1 times 3 is 3. These are my new vertices. I'm going to plot these points. I'm going to draw this dilation. So for X prime, write 3, 0. It's X prime. For Y prime, over 0, up 6. Here it is, y prime. And for z prime, over 6, up 3. So if I could see my original figure, which I cannot, it must have been super teeny tiny because this one is officially three times bigger than the original. And I know that it's bigger because my scale factor was greater than 1. It was 3. Let's look at this guy. Find the vertices of the figure after a dilation with the given scale factor of K and then graph the image. Oh, so here we go again. Now we have an original one to look at. Our scale factor is two thirds. So, hmm, I need to list my original ordered pairs for A, B, C, D. A, if I were to count it out, is located at 6,6. Six. B is 6,3. C is 9,6. And D is 9,9. Nine, nine. So that's my original figure already drawn there in black. Now, let's dilate it by 2 thirds. 2 thirds is less than 1. This is going to be smaller than the original. So, I'm going to take 2 thirds of 6, which is 4. That gives me A prime. For B prime, 2 thirds of 6 is 4. 2 thirds of 3 is 2. C prime, 2 thirds of 9 is 6. 2 thirds of 6 is 4. And D prime is going to be 6, 6. Now, let's plot these points. A prime, write 4 up 4. B prime, write 4 up 2. C prime, write 6 
up four. And D prime, right six, up six. One, two, three, four, five, six. It overlaps, and that's okay. And here is my new image. And it is a little bit smaller than the original. It's two-thirds of the size of the original. Okay? Let's see what else we have to do. A couple word problems. To find the scale factor, write a ratio, or which is a fraction, that compares the length of one side of the dilated figure to the length of the corresponding side of the original image. Okay, here's what we're talking about. If you have some figure, and you know the dimensions of it, and then you dilate it, you either make it bigger or smaller, and you have the dimensions of that one as well, you can compare the size of the original figure to the size of the dilated figure and figure out the scale factor. You can figure out what K was or what K is. So in this example here, it says for his mother's birthday, Paolo wants to enlarge, enlarge, so it's going to be getting bigger, so it be, better be a scale factor greater than one, uh, a 3 by 5 photo up to an 18 by 30 inch photo. So he must have a nice picture that he wants to enlarge as a gift for his mother. He's going to enlarge it and probably put it in a nice frame. Mom can hang it on the wall. What is the scale factor of the dilation? How do we get from a 3 by 5 photo up to an 18 by 30? Here's what you do. You take the, the length of the dilated figure. So this is the dilated figure, and we're going to focus on one measurement. We're going to pick the 18, and that goes there. Then, that becomes the numerator of the ratio or of the fraction. For the denominator, we focus on the original picture. And the original picture was 3 inches. That goes there. So, the dilated figure was 18, and the original was 3. So, the dilated figure goes on top. The original image figures, those dimensions go on bottom. 18 over 3 does simplify down to 6. So 6 is K. And sure enough, that's greater than 1, which would mean that we did, in fact, enlarge a picture. It went from being a 3 by 5, 6 times larger, 18 by 30. One more, and then we're done. Let's check out this word problem. Kevin is using his scanner to make a smaller version of the school logo to put in his yearbook. The original logo is 7 by 10 inches. The reduced image is only 5.25 by 7.5 inches. So it made it a little bit smaller so it would fit on the page. What is the scale factor of the dilation? So let's take the original was 7, and the dilation 5.25. Oh, I'm, I, I was unprepared, I have to admit, I need my calculator handy. The length of the dilated figure, well the dilated figure is 5.25. The original measurement was 7, and now you can uh, divide 5.25, divide by 7, and we get three-fourths, or maybe on a calculator you might get 0 0.75. So in fact, it is smaller. Three-fourths the size of the original logo. The hard part to remember is that the dilated figure is the top number in the original measurements. Those go on bottom. That can be a little tricky to get that um, in your head. So hopefully you wrote it in your notes, okay? Of course, this will all be worksheet driven, and as usual, we'll spend uh, one day on the front side of the worksheet and the next day on the back side of the worksheet. All right? All right, well, let's have some fun with dilations, right? I'll see you then. Bye-bye.